Oh, come on, Dad, we know it's not true. Look how hurt he is. That's not hurt, that's guilt. It's slander. Even if you saw a thousand prostitutes, it won't change, oh. I didn't see a thousand. I saw two. At the same time? Separately. Oh, I don't really want to be part of this conversation. Well, there's not much more to say. I wanted company. I loved Yasmin, but there was nothing coming back. No love, no affection. My confidence was at an all-time low. Well, I had no idea. Nobody did. You paid for sex. Yeah, I didn't envisage having this conversation. Oh, it's disgusting. I was desperate. I'm not proud of it. But if I'd known how she was going to react... You see? That's why she did it. Well, I can't blame her. How would you react? I'd be livid. Yeah, but you wouldn't try and kill me, would you? You wouldn't try and slash my neck with a broken bottle, surely? This doesn't justify that, and I'll admit it doesn't cover you with glory, but you didn't deserve to die for it. If anything, this helps. It proves that she did it. The police need to know. Well, it contributed, I dare say. Well, you should have told him, and you should have told me. What a nice, cosy little father-son chat. It's gone beyond that, Dad. We need to make sure that she pays. What, like he did? Sally. So which story are you going to stick to? Because you told the police that you were arguing because she wanted another drink. She did. It was both. Well, there you go. That explains the violence and the rage. <laughs> They'll probably take her side. You know what it's like these days? You say boo to any woman and you're an ogre. Well, I think we can all agree that she overreacted. It depends if there's a female judge. Well, if this comes up in court and they don't know about it, you'll look bad. You can't go to the police. I wasn't supposed to say anything. No, I'm glad you did. It means that he can prepare for it. He can take charge. It provides him with a motive. It's humiliated. Don't matter. Like I'm a dirty old man. You're a lonely old man. <sighs> I've let you both down. I'm... I'm very sorry. You haven't let anybody down, Dad. We're just glad that you're still with us. So which one's that? Oh, it's you. Sorry to disappoint. Where's the other one? I don't know. Well, you didn't get the uh, bus home together? I walked home. And my first day out of school where nobody knew me wasn't too bad, so thanks for asking. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. Did you enjoy it? I wouldn't go that far. Everybody knew Asher, though. What? Don't worry. I got my hands in my pockets this time. Otherwise, you'd run out of schools. Wait a minute. So where are you going now? My Xbox. Well, didn't they give you any homework? <laughs> no. Well, by the way, you're doing three shifts of prima donna next week. What? Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Oh, brilliant. So I got to contribute towards my own private education because my sister can't keep her clothes on. Yeah, that sounds fair. won't be closed. The police station? Come on, love, you've got enough experience in the law to know they don't shut up five. Closed on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, you can't get arrested bank holidays. Aren't you disgusted? Well, life's complicated, and if she was giving him no... Would you really believe that? Don't you? Well, I never got that impression. But she was devoted to him. I mean, if I didn't give out, would you go on the internet? What for? to book an escort. Of course I wouldn't. But if I did, would you try and stove me head in? Look, I, I'm just as shocked as you are, OK? It's grubby and it's embarrassing, but we don't know what she's been putting him through. He's a broken man. Look at him. She might have been chipping away at his confidence for months. Maybe this was just the beginning of it all. Yeah, maybe. Come on, Dad. Alice was at pains to say that none of it was anyone's fault. Yeah, I know. I, she said that to me as well, but I still feel like I need to apologise. No, 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 no need. But she talked of Shona's inability to uh, assess risk, which seems an odd symptom till one considers it carefully, and then it makes perfect sense. Does it? Well, you know, huge swathes of uh, information have been wiped from her memory. Yeah, I get that, Roy, but, I mean, everybody knows that an oven gets hot. The, the mind is an intricate, complex machine. Besides, she's perfectly happy once the dust has settled. 
Yeah, yeah, I heard that. And I know Alice wants to make it work. And she also asked if if me and you can, could could we get over there and see her? Well, yeah, when, when Nina gets back. Right. Well, how is she? Is she OK? She, but... she is a revelation. All right, nice one, Roy. Hey, how's it going? Excuse me, did you find a calculator here this morning? I did indeed. Is this it? Oh, yeah. Cheers. It'd be a bit of a coincidence if it wasn't, wouldn't it? See ya. What did him run on? Who? I saw you chatting earlier. Solicitor works a few doors down. Oh, him. He was asking about my dad. Saying what? How he'd like to have a chat with him. Someone told me that his sister's the one that died in the factory. Well, don't tell him anything, all right? What could I tell him? You're the only one that knows where my dad is. As you said, I should buy all black or all blue. And even if they do get mixed up, it doesn't matter. You with me? I am Kirk here. She should be running her own company. The brain on that woman, she should be running countries. Scatter like rats. Hey, they should put her in the thing. Look, what thing? With all the top MPs. There's a name for it. The cupboard or something. The cabinet, you mean? The cabinet. Must be a big cabinet if they can get all those people inside it. Right. That's a job for me this afternoon. I'm going to order some new socks. Yeah? I mean... We saw her this morning, didn't we? Yeah, she looked well nervous. She's only there for one reason. Deb? Uh, apparently, I should not check for afternoon registration either. First day. Just let me know if you hear anything. Yeah. Oi! Surprise you. How was school? Well, they've obviously run you, so why are you trying to trick me? Oh, you think this is funny? No, I do not. Good. We can talk about this at home. Can't wait. See ya. Good luck. It'll all be okay, you know. Not really. So when was the last time your daughter was naked on the internet? Whoa. I see what she means. I'm sorry? I'm kidding. But she told me all sorts this afternoon. Yeah. About what? How she feels, what she's scared of. And we tend not to share that with our dads, in my experience. She told me all about her mum and you. So what she have to say about me? She said how much she'd been helping her through it all. Mm. Paying all that money to keep the video off the internet. Mm. Forking out for the new uniform. She said the PE kit alone could have bailed out Greece. Well, maybe not Greece, and I hear it's economies on the other. She feels wretched, so go easy. Any more parenting tips? <laughs> Wouldn't do it for the world. We've all had our moments of regret. Mm. She's a pretty smart kid, so you must be doing something right. Thank you. It hasn't been easy, you know, with um, stuff. Listen, I'm supposed to be working, so I should go back in. Much as I'd love to hear about the heroic tales of a single dad, <laughs> just listen to her. That's my advice. Escort. Escort? And I don't mean the car. And your wife knew about this? When exactly did she find out? The night she attacked me. So, in other words, it was a reason she attacked you. We don't know. I suspect. Who can tell what was going through her mind? Well, I'd just seen escorts in the past. Once. Years ago. I should make you aware that the CPS will need to know about this. If they use it, they'll need a statement. And if they don't use it, your wife's defence might. Let them. So you know what I'm about to ask? You came to me with an extensive account of the events leading up to the attack. Why tell me this now? It's not like it might have slipped your mind. Well, why do you think I'm telling you now? I'm sorry. Well, this is very hard for me. I don't feel good about doing it. I felt sidelined by her drinking, her neglect. 
It's not the sort of thing you want advertised to your wife, to a policeman, or woman, woman especially, to a courtroom full of strangers. In other words, you're coming to me now before they bring it up in court. I'm trying to help you build up an accurate picture, whether it paints me in a bad light or not. So how does she find out? Run me through that night again. I'll try. I mean, even before registration, they were all staring at me. So how did they get to see it? What? It's out there. Yeah, yeah, I know it's out there, Andy, but how do the kids from Weather High know the kids from uh, Oak Hill? Because everybody knows. Everybody. And even if you've never met them, you know exactly who they are online. It's a different world, I mean, it's a far more depressing one. Yeah. I'm sorry I wasted your money. Oh, no. Come on, honey, you haven't wasted anything. Come on, please. OK, they're just going to have to send it to each other till they get bored. Maybe. Yeah. You know that Nina? She was right. Okay, that's her name, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. She said you're going to be OK, and you know what? I believe her, because I believe that you are tough enough to get through this, because you are made of stern stuff. Like, sterner than me, right? and him. I wish I could go back to Bessie Street. Life was much simpler then. Honey, you made one mistake. But let's just stay on at school tomorrow. Hmm? Morning registration, afternoon registration. And these people, they point and they stare. You just ignore them. You just hold your head up high. What is it that Michelle Obama said? Oh, she's full of it. OK, well then, don't ignore them. You speak your mind. Let them know exactly what you're thinking. Oh, I do like Michelle. Hmm? But all that when you go low stuff mm. makes her sound aloof. Why don't you go out and see what uh, Amy and Summer are doing? Oh, they'll be revising. Yeah, but it probably do a break. God knows you are. Apparently, they had topless women in the newspaper. You could have got a job. Page three they were on. What's for tea? Sally, how could you? I told you that in confidence. I wasn't supposed to mention it to anyone, and now it's got back to him. I'm sorry. And what did he say? Denial, denial, denial. He said it was true. In fact, he's gone to tell the police. I think he's going to claim it was part of the reason she did it. In other words, I've just handed them her motive. I don't believe it. I knew I shouldn't have told you. I thought I could trust you. You can. Well, it's too late now. I've played right into his hands. I'm not sure what you must think of me now. You probably don't want me living anywhere near you. I can assure you that isn't the case. I like the girl in the dress. Ah, Nina. I think you two will get along well. Yeah, she's a bit younger than Bethany. Our niece. I'm, I've, I've told you about her before. She, she moved down to London a couple of months back. But... There, that's Bethany. She's pretty. Yeah. Well, she went through a difficult time a couple of years ago. Why? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, another time. I definitely want to live with him, not him. No offence. I'll arrange a best intentions meeting to make sure that everyone's on board. Sounds good. In the meantime, I suggest you come and see Shona as often as you can. And we'll come and visit too. Understood. So... Everybody happy? Yeah. One day, I had a Tuesday on my right foot and a Saturday on my left, and I generally didn't know what day it was. I remember it well. I was on my way to the match. Did it count here? Of course. So it's likely that was a Saturday. Are you right? I never thought of that. <sighs> Ooh. Unless it was a night match. No, you're asking. See? It's very confusing. Hey, I was thinking, right, you know, about the cabinet, I think. The Russians had their bureau, we've got our cabinet, and then there was the Ottoman Empire. I saw this documentary about it. But how come they're all named after furniture? 
and, and, think about it, who's in charge of them all? Uh, I don't know. Probably the chairman. Chair? See, we're on to something. Forget Westminster. This is where the real thinking's done. Damn straight. Email. They received me order. Is that your new socks? Sure is. Black or blue? I ordered a few pairs of each. That way, I'm covering all bases. Yeah, but won't that mean... What? Never mind. So, I did 25 minutes of biology, had a 20 minute break. Then I did 25 minutes of chemistry, mm -hmm. had a 10 minute break. And then I did 25 minutes of physics. I bet you're going to get our nines. You're like a 999. It's like an emergency call. Help, the girl's a genius. <laughs> All right, you two? Hiya. You seem better? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Oh, look who it is. Hey, Corey. Ah, oh, Asher. How come you never stood up for me? You what? I mean, you didn't complain when I took all my clothes off. <laughs> Only said hello. Yeah, hello, not a, I'm sorry. I didn't do anything. You recorded me without my consent. And then when everyone was chatting about it, you said nothing. Exactly. You should have stood up for me. Believe me, you would have looked much cooler if you did, instead of sitting in the corner with your mate sniggering whilst I was being completely humiliated. Look, I don't control the internet. Yeah, you control your mouth, though, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. I mean, you could have told him to delete it. You could have told him it was all your fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was Kelly's fault. You could have even said that I didn't deserve any of it. I would have been well impressed by that, but you didn't. You were scared. And to be honest, it makes you look pathetic. What? So, toddle off with your little mates. I don't want to know you anymore. She probably do on. What was Oak Hill like? Why are you pretending like nothing's happened? It's too late. You've missed your chance. Now have fun. Um, what So now he's going to say she was having some kind of jealous meltdown. I told you not to say anything. I know you did. I'm an idiot, but at least we know what we're working with. Sometimes I wonder which one of us is the solicitor. Look, until you found those payments, she wasn't even going to say anything. You need to get her to open up. She's got to tell you everything, because this is just the tip of the iceberg. And if she pleads guilty, none of this even matters. These are all just mitigating factors. But if she pleads not guilty, she gets to defend herself. Yes. Well, then she needs to change her mind. I have tried that. All right, well, it's lucky that I've just booked a visit. Good evening, Vicar. How goes the parish? Mm -hmm. Ooh, stood outside frescoes with a bucket. Ooh, to the grand total of? <laughs> I haven't got any spare change, mate. Ah. Well, you know there's some truth in that. People have been putting crisps on credit cards. And it's not just the young ones, you know. Ken, half a pint, contactless. So you can have what's in my tip jar. Oh, I wish they were more like you. I know, they broke the mould, they really did. Uh, what are you drowning your sorrows with? Um, a lime and soil with plenty of ice. But... Coming at you. You speak to Kelly's mum? Uh, no. No, not yet. Well, she can't stay here forever. It was your idea. So someone comes up with a better one. Yeah, but she's uh, she's causing a lot of bother, though. Eh? Yeah, well, what do you want me to do? Stand her back to social services? Here, your problem. No, no, but she needs her old lady. Routine, stability. We're doing our best. Yeah. Yeah. Feed bucket. So then I was like, mm -hmm. why don't you scuttle back to the playground with all your little mates <laughs> and next time you try and take advantage of a girl who is mad enough to pay yeah. you any attention, uh -huh. think twice before you try and ruin her life. Well, you actually said that? To his face. <laughs> and then he was all, mm, mm. what was Oak Hill like? <laughs> so then I said, look, you've missed your chance. It's too late. Now do one. Mm. Seriously? Roasted. Good for you, Asha Alahan. Good for you. Oh, Corey Brent, such a spanner. Mm. All right, it's the last time that spanner's going to be causing you any bother. Yeah, it better be. Mm. You know what women are like. They get the knickers in a twist about stuff like this. About what? Paying for sex. Will you stop saying it? Well, you're as disgusted as she is. You're just trying to save my feelings. Well, it wouldn't have been my bag, I admit. I married her in good faith. 
She withheld all physical contact. I didn't sign up for that. Well, we never read the small print, do we? The most physical contact we've had for the last six months was when she hit me with that bottle. Well, it'll all come out in the wash. Just gonna let Sally cool off a bit, haven't you? What's Faye gonna think? Hmm. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, eh? I've been such a fool. Well, there's a long queue of them out there, Dad. Chlamydia. It cleared up. Oh, Gran, that is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. He contracted an STI from a call girl and passed it on to you. Will you keep your and voice you still down? still didn't let him win. I will not mention those women in court. I'm sorry, Alia, but there's a line and I won't cross it. What line? What are you talking about? It's his reputation you'll be dragging through the mud, not yours. It doesn't feel that way. So what's it going to take to make you realise? It's him that needs to be in here, not you. This is a woman's prison. Is that a joke? An attempt at one, yes. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is real. Neither can I. But... I would rather be in here than have that come out in court. Gran, you cannot sacrifice your freedom over this. Look, of course, it's going to be difficult and shameful, but it wasn't your fault. He drove you to this. You can't spend 15 years in here just because you don't want a room full of strangers to find out your husband gave you chlamydia. He was a bully and a liar. He emotionally abused you. Tell the courts. Shout it from the rooftops, but do not let him get away with this. Because you know what? If you do, he'll just find someone else and it'll happen all over again. This is your last chance. You're not guilty. Tell the truth. If you've been affected by Yasmin's story, you can visit itv.com advice for support information. Next tonight, Birds of a Feather.